Hi, this is Richard from Spirits of Japan and Eat Japan. So we're in uh, my little local ramen house tonight, having a little bit of, uh, of course, Japanese sake. And we are going to uh, uh, order some gyoza and some um, chahan, so, which is fried rice. Um, I understand ramen is a big thing. You can find a lot of different kinds of uh, uh, you know, ramen videos online. But uh, one thing I like to do um, is uh, fried rice. Now, fried rice is good, especially when you got kids. You know, and I got a, I got a little monster over here, and uh, she's almost three. And they love their noodles, but it's nice to have that, you know, it's either a shrimp fried rice or maybe a pork fried rice, a beef fried rice. And then gyoza, gyoza, which is awesome because um, I would say 95, 96% of all ramen shops hand make their own gyoza. Uh, the little dumplings with the pork, uh, you know, the minced pork and the vegetables inside. So we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna talk a little bit about it. And uh, each segment that I go through, uh, uh, through this series, is gonna be a different Japanese food. So uh, let's see how it all works out. So, we got our chahan, we've got our um, soup, usually get a little soup with it, and then you get um, what's called a, a rayu. It's a uh, half soy sauce and a, a little bit of a, a spice called orayu. And then you always have a little pepper on the side. And what the orayu is for is for your gyoza. So if you bite into one of these babies right now, it's gonna be like super hot. So we're gonna set those aside. We're gonna enjoy our, um, our chanhan first. And then when this is cooled down, let me try this. So, let's see. <coughs> Yum. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's, that's great. Look at that. Yum. You put all your gills in your ayu. You get a good little bit of a soak there. And get ready to chow. There we go. Mm. What's the important thing about your gyoza? One side has to be crunchy. Mm. The other side's soft. But that flavor of the inside of the gyoza. It has to have a really good balance. Can't be overpowering with too much garlic or anything like that. Because it has a really good balance. Crunchiness. You don't want to leave it in the rayu. You know, your little spice and soy sauce mix there. Too long. Because that then overpowers the flavor of the gyoza. So you're just gonna dip, wait like a couple of seconds, bam, pop it in your mouth. Gyoza didn't really get introduced to Japan until like the late 1930s, early 1940s, before World War II. And the reason for that is when Japan invaded China. Chinese were already making these dumplings. They took the idea, brought it back, and as Japanese, Japanese did what Japanese do the best, they, they take something and make it better. And so that, that's uh, pretty much the history of gyoza. Uh, the fried rice um, was uh, started, of course, in China. Uh, probably somewhere where they think, believe, what, 580 and 6, 618, I, was, I forget what it was written, but um, the late 16th, early 17th century. And um, uh, pork, prawns, scallions, peas, I think that was the four basic um, fried rice dishes. A lot of uh, fried rice dishes in Japan today uh, are basically, uh, you get ebi chanhan, which is your, your uh, fried shrimp rice, um, and some ebi chanhan is pretty much pork, but um, when you get yasai chanhan, yasai, which is all, just all vegetables, 
So, um, like pretty much a lot of things in Japan, this was uh, you know, originally Chinese dishes that were brought over and improved. Um, not to be rude to anybody, but they always say if you want to eat really good Chinese food, uh, come to Japan. Now, I've been to China, I've had some really good food there. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's a really good, easy dish to eat. Um, it's filling and it's very affordable. Popping, get a little cha hunts, it's, get some gills up, it'll be prepared in eight or nine minutes. You'll eat it in eight or nine minutes and you're out the door. So it's, um, it's something that a lot of uh, uh, people eat for lunch just to hurry up and, and get something, fill them up for the day. Uh, ramen's great, ramen's great. Um, but, uh, you know, three hours from now, you're gonna be hungry again. Uh, you know, or two hours from now, but uh, you know, Chahan will sit there in your stomach for three or four hours and uh, you'll get a, a, a longer benefit from it. Uh, so, uh, there we are, our first uh, episode, which is Gilza uh, and Chahan. And as you see, it's gone. All right. Here's my little monster over there. Hi, Anna, say hello. Whoa. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she had ramen today. So uh, we'll see you at the next episode, and thank you for watching.